Dear Taurus, welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your first week in July of 2019. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Ascendants. This is a predictive, condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibration into those future readings. Please remember to check out that description box below. There is a free birth chart calculator at the bottom. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Taurus. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Knight of Cups, Taurus. This is water energy. It can be a person. Pisces. Cancer or Scorpio. This can be travel or the coming or going of a matter. Communication. This can be an offer, an offer of love or something that brings you joy. This is a romance card. This is following your emotions and keeping on working on yourself. Do not be surprised if you change your priorities and go with your emotions. This is keeping warmth for a person and showing your love. It's happy emotions and pleasant surprises. This is a person that's bringing a message about love. They're dreamy and emotional and they chase a dream. They're making advances and propositions. This could represent your true love, your Mr. or Mrs. Right. The knight on the white horse. This is a soul connection. But they're at least a good friend. They're honest, intelligent, and willing to come to your aid. This is spiritual aspirations and a quest for truth and beauty and love. It's sincere emotion. It's following your heart and making amends, even offering forgiveness. As an event, this can often be a proposal of a marriage or a proposition in the field of art or even a rival in love. But romance is about to occur. This is a strong passion for someone. Your second card and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. Here's that offer, Taurus. The Ace of Cups. Water energy. Aces are always new beginnings. A gift from life, from the universe. It's a divine gift. This is the beginning of great joy and contentment and love and fertility and productiveness. It's beauty and pleasure. It's a reminder when the mind is filled with the spirit, the spirit will fill the material cup to overflowing. This is great joy or reward gained from a loving relationship. Or something new could be developing in a relationship. Or some form of good news coming. And with it brings healing. The cups are connected with water, the element governing the feelings and the emotions. So the ace of cups means the purest aspect of emotional energy. Love, marriage, and motherhood. This is a new beginning. A new love or a one-on-one -on -one relationship of any kind. The birth of a child or an idea. It's a fertile time for creative growth and the consummation of something you hoped for. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. This can be your attitude. The Page of Wands, Taurus. This is fire energy. This could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendants the beginning of something. This is a message or a messenger. It's helpful information. It brings passion and eagerness. This could be the beginning of a project, a love affair, a new phase in your life, a firm decision about a question. This is courage and beauty and the nature suddenly in love or anger. It's a desire for power and enthusiasm. This could be the messenger or a postman, a bearer of tidings, this can be a proclamation, an announcement, a declaration. It's an important message to your current project or situation. It usually affects work, although it may be of a social nature, and this information is positive. This is someone that's standing at the threshold of a newly inspired direction, and we feel the page's influence when we're drawn to something that can accelerate our personal growth and enable us to be and express more of who we are. This is the fool's little brother. This is being intrigued and hopeful and inspired and trustworthy, a beginner. It's embarking on self-development and sensing your potential for creative or spiritual expansion. 
and pursuing adventure. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Beautiful card, Taurus. Number 17 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the star. This can be an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is great love and great hope. It's renewal, revelation, and peace. This is your lucky stars being with you. There's insight and inspiration and hope. It's great good health and gifts of the spirit. It's the peace and confidence that comes after the explosion of the tower. And then there's renewal and faith renewed. There's hope and a calm and a relaxed but eager frame of mind. Her calm confidence carries her through all situations. This indicates mental stability, major growth and development, and now anything is possible. This is being replenished. It's being hopeful and peaceful and cooperative and charitable, devoted and feeling inspired. It can now be the end of some troubles that you've had. A gate has opened for you and there's new possibilities and good fortune. This could be unexpected help, so stay calm and positive. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The page of pentacles, Taurus. This can be you. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Sun, moon, or ascendant. This is an offer. It's also your second page, which represents disquiet, or being on the same page with another. This is introspection and fascination and interest. This can be a communication or an offer of stability. It's a slow coming. This is someone that could be bringing you good news or a message about them. This could also be a student because they do have respect for learning. This is someone that moves slowly. It takes longer because there's no horse. This is someone that's practical and cautious. This could indicate a new job offer, a new project, or a new investment or new studies. This would be a person that's youthful, dependable, and practical, and they're willing to work hard to gain new knowledge and skills. They're a loyal friend and they give good advice, and yet they seem solemn and scholarly. It's just because they're willing to work hard to learn about what interests them so very much. Pages can be children, or the beginning of something new and underdeveloped. This is the love of material things. It's a good card to start a new business, an opportunity to make money starting at the bottom with plenty of promise for future growth. This is a trigger point, an unexpected new start. It's being productive. You could be finding something. And now your advice from the Oracle deck, The Sacred Traveler, by Denise Lynn. Taurus, you've got distant thunder. Clear the air. Dramatic purification, renewal, and healing are occurring on many levels. Don't be concerned if there's chaos in your life. In this instance, it is good. It is shaking things up so you don't become stagnant. If your auric field or your personal space is cluttered, it's difficult for exciting new experiences and opportunities to come into your life. It's time to clear out clutter. Release the old, discarded, and unused. Clear the air and release situations and people who don't empower you. Purify the dross out of your life. In order for renewal to occur, the old needs to make way for the new. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that on the distant horizon, a storm is brewing. Great shards of lightning are thunder bolting to the earth from the heavens. It can feel chaotic, but it heralds a time of renewal. The thunderstorm clears the dust out of the air and re-energizes the earth. Be open to change. It's all good, even if it doesn't seem like it. New energy is flooding your energy field. Examine your life and see if there's anything that needs to be cleared, renewed, or released. Now is the time. Renewal and even rebirth is at hand. Here's your inspiration from the deck Animal Messages by Susie Green. Taurus, you've got Scorpion. A new relationship. Passion offers the challenge of ecstasy and pain. 
imbued with the powers of such wonders as protecting the mighty Egyptian goddess Isis from enemies, Scorpion inspires both reverence and respect. Her sting brings forth both death and a potent aphrodisiac for her mate, passion. A reminder that sex affects our psyches in different and powerful ways. At our most vulnerable, we can be painfully hurt. At our most passionate, transported into ecstasy. Relationships entered into now will be profoundly affecting your being. Scorpion counsels that you accept the challenge. Here's your take note moment. Taurus, through the wisdom of our subconscious minds, we can attract the perfect companion as well as the right business partners. This wisdom can attract the right buyer for your property and provide us with all the money we need. Feeling gratitude puts us on the correct frequency or vibration to attract. To get on this frequency correctly, we need to remember to use not just the words. We must use feeling. Feel the gratitude intensely and deeply. To really harness this power, practice, and practice some more until you reach the greatest depth of feeling and the highest frequency. Thanks, you guys, Taurus. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. I hope you can feel it. Thanks for watching.